The ultimate question everyone has been talking about since 2021. Did Zac Efron really get facial surgery? And what did he have to say about it all? Over a year later, we finally have answers. If you were first introduced to former teen heartthrob Zac Efron via High School Musical, then you might have trouble recognizing him now. That sentiment reached a fever pitch in April 2021 when Efron gave a promotional short to spread awareness about Earth Day. Unfortunately for him, the meaningful environmental message of the interview was lost amid widespread speculation that he had surgically altered his famous face. In the clip, Zack's cheeks appear puffy and his jaw looks to be about twice the size that it once was. The rumors were especially heightened because, at the time, he had just made a permanent move from Hollywood to Australia, which some found surprising. Soon, social media was flooded with hot takes about Efron's new look. One fan wrote, Zac Efron is naturally attractive. I don't know why he keeps messing up his face with cosmetic surgery. Another said, I don't want to live in a world where people like Jennifer Aniston and Zac Efron feel like they need plastic surgery. Efron's good friend Kyle Sandilands came to the actor's defense on his radio show, claiming he'd be aware if Efron had done anything. According to Page Six, he said, It's like getting a Picasso and having a kid finger paint all over it. Why bother? Though it was all anybody wanted to talk about at the time, Zac refused to address the rumors. It would be over a year before he'd chime in on the narrative, and what he had to say is sure to raise some eyebrows. According to Zac Efron, all that speculation about his new look was a waste of time, because he never changed anything about his face. In a September interview with Men's Health, Efron explained that his jawline appeared swollen during his Earth Day bit because his muscles were over-enlarged thanks to an old injury, not from some kind of cosmetic injection. He said, The masseters just grew. They just got really, really big. Zack was shocked at the public reaction, as he had never given his new look much thought. He continued, If I valued what other people thought of me to the extent that they may think I do, I definitely wouldn't be able to do this work. Still, Efron isn't immune to the pressure of modern beauty standards. Just because he's never surgically altered his face doesn't mean he hasn't gone to other physical extremes. During the interview, Efron detailed how his Baywatch diet nearly destroyed his health. He gave his opinion that the chiseled Baywatch was not a realistic standard, saying, I started to develop insomnia, and I fell into a pretty bad depression for a long time. Something about that experience burned me out. I had a really hard time recentering." So that was, that was the most extreme I had ever gone. I think I was in ketosis the, that entire film. Since then, Efron has worked hard to focus on what's important to him. He's living full-time in Australia and hosts a show on Netflix that spreads environmental awareness. After all, some things are more important than looks. By 2020, Zack had gotten fed up with Hollywood and needed a break. He set his sights on Australia and has reportedly never looked back. As a source told People in January 2021, he loves Australia and considers it his home. As of now, he has no plans to live permanently in LA again. The actor is reportedly the proud owner of more than 300 acres just north of swanky Byron Bay, and since COVID regulations eased, he's leaned into a more transient lifestyle. He returns to LA sparingly for business and personal reasons per Men's Health. Otherwise, Efron is a nomad. He said, I'm in a van trying to travel and see as much of the world as I can, or just hiking in the woods and camping. So there you have it. LA and unsolicited opinions about his face are officially in Efron's rearview mirror.